On to the next one here. We got some more casting here. Tron. We're getting a new Tron movie. Now, obviously, the original Tron with Jeff Bridges was a, was a big movie when it came out. It was a big kind of push the boundaries of visual effects and stuff. Tron Legacy came out back when we were in, like, middle school. I remember that movie. I was a big fan. Yeah, I had the good. toys. Like, good movie. It's not the best movie, That's all but right. it's got oh. great visuals. It's got great music by Daft Punk. That's the job uh, They've been trying to make this movie for a while. Jared Leto's been attached to it for a while. It's called Tron Ares. It's uh, starting filming in August. Evan Peters joined the cast here. Any excitement here? I mean, you know, excitement. I don't know if I'd say I'm excited. Okay. But, like, you know, I'll see it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not Jared Leto, though. See, his, yeah. I'm like, I don't know. He's got, like, a, I get a bad taste in my mouth from him. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Just I don't know. He's just a weird guy. Like, you know, I don't know he's a good-looking guy, but, like, Oh, mm. uh, just like his last couple of roles, you know what I mean? Just kind of the fuck. What was Morbius? The, yeah, Morbius, and then he was the Joker. Yeah, and he's like, I hear all this stuff. House of Gucci, like all the stuff he does, like you know, mm. uh, it's weird. I don't know. Uh, I think Evan Peters. I think he's a really good actor, so that would interest me. Yeah, if he's kind of you know the younger role, whatever the guy's name was last time. Mm. Um, I mean, I what Listen, if Trey looks good, people are talking about it. I'll go see it. But uh, you know, Tron. I mean, Tron. You know, whatever. Yeah, Sam. Yeah, I kind of agree with Matt. You know, I'm not really in this for Jared Leto. I'd no. probably be in this for Evan Peters because I was a big fan of him. They're an American Horror Story. Yep. And also uh, Jeffrey Dahmer. Yes. He's a very great actor. Uh, he gets in the character very well. I just, uh, I need a little bit more information before I can make, you know, my say whether or not I'm going to go see this mm-hmm. in theater because I, I haven't seen the first one. What the like the OG OG? The OG yeah, OG. I haven't watched it in full either. I've only seen Legacy. Just bits and pieces for me. Yeah. So I mean I mean maybe cool if the trailer sense. looks good, I'll watch the first one and yep. go from there. But as of right now, I'm just kinda They just gotta bring Daft Punk back for the music. Mm. That's all I'm asking. Dude, they they fit this part just that oh, like yeah. they fit it perfectly. Great the sound, weekend though. maybe gets in there. Oh, okay. Oh, thank okay. you. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. music only. For, mu- yeah, no for music only. No acting. Uh, <laughs> only. only. Nick, yeah. do what soundtrack. do you think of this? Are you a Tron fan? Uh, no, I mean, not particularly. I, I remember when Tron Legacy yeah. came out. I am a Jared Leto fan, and uh, Evan Peters, I mean, hopefully, as long as as long as long he's had time to get over his you know, Jeffrey Dahmer phase. And yeah, he doesn't want to play villains mentally anymore. mentally healthy, and mm-hmm. we just got to make sure we're looking out for our actors, yeah. RJ, and that everything's good there. Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, Evan Peters is a great actor, and I think Jared Leto, when he – even though he's a pain in the ass on set and he does weird stuff, like mm-hmm. the product is still, I get House of Gucci is an exception. Okay. I mean, yeah, everybody has like a bad role every now and then, but Wayne like Morbius, which one is Morbius? Which one he is played Morbius? the vampire, the superhero movie that came out last year. Fucking terrible. That was bad. It's and, pretty, uh, was bad. Okay. The Joker. What about like Requiem for a Dream though? And like all of his good. Oh, sure. Stuff. Like Dallas Buyers Club. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's got like tons of great, Mm-hmm. Roles, you know, he's a he does, great I'm actor. I'm just saying he's kind of. I think Matt's saying more is like his presence is unsettling. Sure. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, listen. I guarantee I, you, he plays a role that's unsettling. Probably. He was in uh, Blade Runner 2049 too. He played that creepy guy. Uh, <laughs> there you go. He's always playing the creepy guy. So if you uh, need a creep, out. that's what you yeah, that's 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 a creep. You know. Um, I don't know. I mean, I hope, like, obviously I want to know more about the story here. I'm trying I wonder to... if Evan Peters will go crazy on set and start eating people or Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything He'll like just that, really go know? into it. Or yeah. eating pixels. Tron Maybe. pixels. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. They should bring Jeff Bridges back for this yeah, somehow. Sure. Yeah, Get all right. all three. Yeah, I love Jeff Bridges. But good, good guy. Uh, last. <laughs> uh, I assume he is. I haven't met him. He, looks he like does it. seem like a good guy. Yeah, I watched sure the actor's roundtable with Evan yeah, Peters. I'm sure he's a good guy. He was a nice guy. Was it Goonies, right? Jeff Is that Josh Brolin? Sorry. Josh Brolin. Never mind. Fuck it. Nope. I'll keep yeah, going. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. The Big Lebowski. Oh, Jeff, whatever. Uh, Jeff yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching that clip from the Movie Mob podcast. Be sure to subscribe to Wilco Media and tune in every Friday at 6 p.m. for our full weekly episodes. How you doing? All right.